I'm Sonali Smith from the University of Chicago here at ASH 2019 in Orlando, Florida, uh, talking about uh, the role of PET scans in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Uh, we've used PET scans quite a bit in many of the lymphoid malignancies, both as an interim analysis as well as an end-of-treatment analysis. For diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, an end-of-treatment PET scan is highly prognostic of outcome and a negative PET scan uh, patients do quite well and have a very good chance of being cured. What's new at ASH 2019 are two abstracts that inform the management of patients with limited stage diffuse large B cell lymphoma. The first is a prospective trial by Dan Persky presented on behalf of SWOG, it's S1001, and this is the first U.S. intergroup prospective trial to evaluate limited stage uh, diffuse large B cell lymphoma using a PET directed therapy. So in this study, which is an oral presentation on the Sunday of ASH, uh, December 8th, uh, Dr. Persky will present uh, patients that were treated with three cycles of RCHOP followed by a PET scan. Those patients who have a negative PET scan go on to receive one more cycle of RCHOP and then are done with therapy. Those patients who have a positive PET scan uh, go on to get consolidative radiation therapy as well as radioimmunotherapy. What's uh, in impressive and very encouraging is that 89% of patients in this study had a negative PET scan at three cycles and were able to receive just one further cycle of RCHOP, so four total cycles, and then be done with therapy. And with this, almost 90% of patients remain progression-free, now with a very mature follow-up of over five years. For those 11% of patients who were PET positive uh, at the interim scan, the outcomes are also encouraging uh, although I do think that further study is needed to determine what is the best treatment for those patients who are PET positive. The second study to look at PET-directed therapy for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma that's limited stage is presented by Lori Sen of British Columbia uh, Cancer Agency. And in this one, this is more of a, uh, a, a database evaluation of patients who have received PET-directed therapy based on their provincial guidelines. So in uh, British Columbia, patients who receive three cycles of RCHOP all have a PET scan. And based on the PET scan, they either go on to receive one additional cycle of RCHOP if they're PET negative, or consolidative radiotherapy if they are PET positive. Again, a very high rate of PET negativity after three cycles, and a very high uh, uh, progression-free survival, now with six years of follow-up, essentially suggesting that the majority of patients do not need consolidative radiotherapy for limited stage diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Now both of these studies add to the FLYER study, which has been presented at ASH a year ago, uh, that was limited to younger patients. So to be able to see this type of consistent approach that limited duration therapy or limited uh, number of cycles of therapy with RCHOP is highly successful, is very encouraging and I think practice changing.